Hello, this is Ms. DB. In this video, we are going to work with percents as equations. In the last lesson, you used proportions to set up and solve for percent problems to find the missing parts. Now we're going to write equations. After you learn both methods, then from then on, you can use whichever method you prefer. So we are going to use this equation right here, part equals percent times the whole. When you're reading the problems below, is tells us to use an equal sign, and of tells us to use multiplication, so a dot or parentheses for multiplication. So part equals percent times whole. So let's look at a few here and there. This one says how much, and the rest say what. That doesn't matter. How much, what, what, those all mean a variable. So you can use x, you can use a like the book does for part. They use a equals percent times whole like this. So it really doesn't matter. The other thing to note is that you need to change your percents to decimal numbers. If you're given a percent, you need to change it to a decimal number. So to change 15% to a decimal. There is an invisible decimal point at the end of the 15. You can move it one, two places to the left to get 0.15. Or you can take 15 and divide it by 100 on a calculator, which will give you the exact same value. So 15% is 0.15. Now some people write 0 0.15 and some people don't. It doesn't matter, it's a matter of preference. Either one is absolutely correct. All right, so we've got that figured out. Now we're going to write this as an equation. These are easy to type, unlike proportions, which are kind of hard to type. I will use a for my variable. So I'm going to use a equals, because I don't know the part, percent, I figured out that the percent would be 0.15, of means times, I'll use that star. If, I, if you go shift and then the 8, you get the star. And then the whole is 73. So my equation is A equals 0.15 times 73. Now this is an easy enough problem to solve with a calculator. We just need to get this to fit on the page here. We need to take 0.15 and we need to multiply it by 73. And when we do that, we see our answer is 10.95. And we will leave it, we're not going to change that to 11, we'll leave that as our answer is A equals 10.95. If you have lots of decimals, you can round to the nearest hundredth or to the nearest tenth. But be careful when you do that. If you're not sure how to round, then write more numbers out. So the first few problems are all looking for the part, so they will all be done just like this. Let's go on to like number, number 12. Now in number 12 they don't give us the percent, we are going to be looking for the percent. We're still you going to use the equation a equals percent times the whole, but in this one we'll be looking for p, we'll be looking for the percent because we don't know it. So the part is 12, is means equal sign, so I'm just translating directly from the equation. 12 is, 12 equals what percent, we don't know, so we'll put P for what percent. And then we see the word of, which means to multiply. And then we have the whole, which is 88. So this equation is a little bit different. We have to solve for P, so I need to divide both sides by 88 so that I can get P by itself. So I need to know what 12 divided by 88 is. 12 divided by 88 is 0 0.13636363636363. I'll write out a few of those. Dot, dot, dot means that pattern will continue. That is equal to P. Now what we're looking for a percent. If you are looking for a percent, you will solve this with the decimal. Now we need to change that into a percent. The way that you can change a percent, a decimal number into a percent, is you can take the decimal point 
and this time you would move it two places to the right. So our percent would be 13.6363 percent. You need the percent sign. Or we can round this to 13.63 percent. Don't forget the percent sign. And don't forget to change it into a percent. If you're looking for a percent, you don't want to leave your answer as a decimal. And now look at number 11. It's also looking for the percent, but the way they wrote the sentence is a little bit different, or the question. It says, what percent of 90 is 15? So you can keep this order for your equation if you want. You can figure out what's the part, oh, the part's over here. What's the percent that's over here? And here's the whole. Or you can translate it directly from the sentence as well. What percent, that part of the equation, right here, that's the P. That's the, what we're looking for in this problem. We don't know. Of means to multiply. 90 is the whole, which is B. And is means equals. And 15 is the part, so that's our A. So you will still have the same equation. It's just going to be ordered a little bit differently. Let's write it this way. So P times 90 equals 15. Now that's, of course, the exact same thing if you wrote it A equals P times B, or part equals percent times whole, part equals percent, we don't know the percent, times the whole. The four, the, it just switches which is on the left and which is on the right. Those are equivalent equations. Either one of them will give you the same exact answer. And I'll let you finish that. Remember that once you finish, you are going to get a decimal answer, and you still need to multiply by 100 or move your decimal point over two places to the right in order to change that number into a percent. There's one more type when we are looking for the whole. So 15, 16, 17, and I think those three plus maybe one or two of the word problems at the end, you're looking for the whole. So if the part is equal to the percent times the whole, that's the whole part that we're looking for in these ones. So this would be the part. And this, of course, is the percent. And then we're looking for the whole. So the equation, 23, is means equals 9% as a decimal. Be careful on this one. 9% as a decimal is not 0.9. That would be 90%. So remember, there's an invisible decimal point after the 9. And you have to move it one, two places to the left, which means you're going to need to add a 0 as a placeholder, and your decimal point will be in front of that. So 9% equals 0 0.09 as a decimal. So 23 equals 0 0.09 times x. So how would we solve that problem? We have to divide, but we also have a we also have a decimal. So you're just going to be dividing by a decimal number, 0 0.09, divide both sides by 0 0.09. And you have calculators that you can use. So take 23 divided by 0 0.09. Whoa. 29 is 0.09. And that is equal to 255.55555. 255.5. That's repeating. It's hard to put a bar over it in Word. So if you were typing this, you could, in order to show that that actually continues, you could type your answer as 255.5, and then the dot dot dots would mean um, that it continues. And I forgot to use B for base in this. I used X, but you can either use an X or a B. It's up to you. And then there's a few more problems. There's only two word problems, so I'm going to let you try those on your own. In this first one, you're looking for the percent. This would be the whole, and 600 would be the part. In number 19, you are given the percent, and you are given the part. 
So you will be looking for the, the total, which is the whole in number 19. So of course, write your equations for both of those. In order to get full credit, you need to write your equations for each one of these, and then you need to show your work on how you solved it. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.